up, everyone, and welcome back to Save the Game Media. My name is Kevin, and today I want to talk to you about The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. It just received its official Western port. I've played it, and I've beaten it. I want to let you know whether you should pick it up. So if you like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Before we start, I got to give a shout out to NIS America for providing me the code for this review. Thank you so much. Now, let's talk about Trails from Zero. As a newcomer to the Trails series, I wasn't sure what to expect. I was afraid that I would be completely lost, but what I found was that despite most likely missing some of the Easter eggs and connections to the broader Trails of World, I enjoyed my overall experience with Trails from Zero. But that doesn't mean there aren't aspects of the game that I think haven't aged all particularly well and could have been improved. You're put into the role of Lloyd Bannings, a boy who's just returned to his hometown of Crestbell to join the city's police department. Upon arriving, he's thrust into a newly formed unit, the special support section. Now, I won't go into major spoilers in this review, and none of the clips you're going to see throughout the review will have spoilers, but I want to say, more than anything, the characters are the highlight of this game for me. The entirety of the special support section, Lloyd, Ellie, Randy, Tio, are all fantastic characters. I absolutely adore their unique personalities and their unique backstories, which you will learn throughout the game. Whether that's Tio's grumpy but incredibly smart childlike behavior, Randy's laid-back flirtatious antics, or Ellie's sweet but determined personality, each one has fantastic interactions with the other, and it keeps you invested learning more about them. Apart from the main party, you're also going to run into a world full of interesting and wonderfully written side characters like Wazi, Rixia, uh, Estelle, and so many more. Despite the characters being so strong, though, one of my issues with Trails from Zero is the simply the amount of dialogue within the game. I love JRPGs. I want to make that very clear. I'm very used to having lots of dialogue, but the sheer amount of exposition dumps in this game, the pointless dialogue is so extreme. At its worst, I spent, and I'm not exaggerating here, two and a half hours hitting the X button to keep progressing through dialogue. Perhaps if I had played the other Trails games, this wouldn't have been a problem. I would have been able to prepare myself for it, but it really did make certain parts of this game feel like a chore, especially because there's no auto scroll feature in the options. So I literally have to hit the X button in order to progress. And I think that's a shame because when it's at its best, this game has fantastic writing. It's an interesting and mature story. I just wish we got there a bit quicker. Luckily, this version of the game does include a new feature for the West, and that is high speed mode. I think this is a fantastic addition to the title. It makes navigating the world super easy and very quick. Basically, it makes your characters move incredibly fast within the overworld and speeds up the battles. I kept it on for the entirety of my playthrough, and it's going to save you some hours. Previously reported uh, by how long to beat, this game was about 41 hours if you just focused on the main story, but I rolled credits uh, shortly after the 20-hour mark, I would say. Let's talk about the combat system. Combat has you move your party members in a turn-based combat along a grid, similar to something you would see in a Fire Emblem, but not the strategy-based. It is you hit a monster, you can stun them, you'll go into a specialized screen, similar to other JRPGs where you'll see uh, the Tail series, for instance, uh, does that fade to a different screen. You have a little grid system where you can move your characters, but if you're within a certain range, you'll be able to perform attacks. Here you can attack normally, use arts, aka magic attacks, or you can use what they call craft attacks, which are the more powerful attacks. This isn't really revolutionary, I, but... I love the combat in this game. I think it felt modern. It would hold up against modern JRPGs today. It was not a drawback in the slightest for me. This is one of the strengths of Trails from Zero. Especially when you start unlocking S-Crafts or Combo Crafts. These are super powerful special animation attacks that each character has. And the Combo Crafts especially. Those are moves that Lloyd does with another party member. Usually unlocked through a special bonding event. These 
are awesome to watch. The animations are stellar. Outside of combat, you'll find yourself managing your gear or upgrading your court slots. This basically just allows you to equip special items that are going to boost your stats. I did find that money was very hard to come by for me, but this could be because I didn't really do a large chunk of the side quests. And I think that's probably where you get the majority of your money in this game. But one of my other issues is that when the side quests I did do, they felt like glorified fetch quests. Uh, find my engagement ring. They really didn't add much to my story or my experience. I, I could not find a reason outside of money and the occasional uh, leveling up your detective rank, which gives you some items. They didn't really seem worth it for me. That's That's just where I fell on it. So I stuck to the main story for the most part. Now, while I played the PS4 version on my PS5, I think it is important to note that this version did not receive any additional work. If you compare screenshots between the PS4 version and, say, the Switch or PC version, you're going to see that those versions got some touch-ups to the environment. While this didn't really hurt my experience, I still wish that this was present in the PS4 version. The sprites on those other versions looked better. The environments were more detailed. I think the game does have beautiful visuals, especially especially the character art. When the full character art comes up on screen, when you meet new characters, it's gorgeous to look at. Whether this influences your decision on what platform to get, I don't really know, but I do think the PS4 version was still great. The game's structure is very simple. There are five main chapters within this game. You have a prologue and an intermission, which are basically dialogue chapters, but each contain a specific number of days. On each day, you're going to take an urgent quest that will progress the story, but there are numerous side quests that you can do throughout the day. The story will be told through these requests as you act as a police detective, and I will say that it's obvious this game is meant to be a new entry into the series of trails games everything ramps up in the finale of this game and you won't get all your questions answered they do solve the main antagonist problem at that moment for the chapter but you're going to be left wondering a lot a lot of unsolved things they even tell you the story will continue so it's very clear that this game was never meant to wrap everything all up in a bow and it's a little frustrating for me because I do think the game should be able to stand on its own. And to, in some aspects, it does. But in a lot of other aspects, it's a little frustrating that I couldn't just play this. Now I have to see, OK, well, what comes after Trails from Zero? What what do I have to play to answer all of my questions. While my overall experience with Trails from Zero was positive, as there's a lot to love in this game, there are some negatives that dampened my experience. As a first-time Trails player, I'm cautious to dive into those future titles at full price especially, but because I did love the combat, I loved the characters, I think I'm open to experiencing more. I would still recommend this game, especially if you are a long-time Trails fan i think there's a lot to love here the negatives you will most likely be used to them if you are a longtime fan if you aren't I, again i think you can play the game and have a great experience with it maybe you don't mind maybe you'll enjoy the story more than me so when the, the text box comes up you don't mind sitting there for an hour or two at a time to progress but let me know your thoughts down below this will cover my review for the legend of heroes trails from zero but I do want to hear from you, especially if you've played other Trails games. Let me know which one I should play next. Again, thank you to NIS America for providing the code for this review. Until next time, I've been Kevin. Follow me at the Muffin Mon on Twitter. That's a one is seven. I know owns of a follow us at Save Game Media on Twitter to stay up to date with all the latest. Until next time, see ya.